This is a quick tutorial on how to import and work with audio files in Fourscore. First, I'm assuming that you have the audio files already created and you have put them into Dropbox. So then in Fourscore, tap on the center and then tap on the suitcase in the upper right. I think they call it a uh, toolbox. I call it a suitcase. And then go to Services, and then find Dropbox. And in Dropbox, we're going. To, I'm going to the Amarillo's Quartet and to Audio, and here uh, the date. And then I have all my audio files that I uh, uploaded uh, into that folder. And you can upload as many as you want at a time. You just tap each one that you want. And um, I've already done this, so just uh, I'll just you know, you just tap each file, and then when you're finished tapping the files, tap Done in the upper right corner. And now all those files are in are in Fourscore. So the next step is you want to go to a individual file that you want to bind one of those audio files to, and I'm going to do it to this one. So again, I go to the uh, tap the center, and then I'm going to tap on the top to open up the metadata. And in the metadata. One of the options you can see you have uh, uh, layout, set lists, audio, and MIDI, and I want audio. And then at the bottom you see a rectangular and a circular um, note icon, and the uh, circular one is for files that have come in from, for example, albums or uh, something like that. And uh, that's not what this is. The rectangular one is for MP3 files that have come in through iTunes, which is the way when you bring it in uh, through Fourscore, that's uh, what how that's treated. So you tap on the rectangular one, and then you have a list of all of the uh, available audio files in iTunes. And then you simply find the one that is um, for this particular piece, and you can scroll through the list and uh, find that and then tap on it and when you finish tap done and I can just tap uh, off, off of the metadata area to go to here so then you will have down when you tap in the center of your screen now you'll see at the bottom of the screen that you have a audio player and um, I actually have more than one file associated with our audio file associated with this file so you can see I have a arrow uh, I have that one and I have that one. Uh, so uh, then you can play them. And I'm not sure this is actually playing. It looks like it's not because I'm connected to the computer right now. But anyway, so that will play. There are things you can do with this. Uh, so with the thing that looks like a, a timer, if you tap that, you can see that you can adjust the, uh, the um, frequency and the speed of the file. And uh, I'll show you an example of where I've used that. If I go up to the search there, and, and I want to look at Senfo Das Lang. And in here, this is a, the recording I have here um, was from a Fairline Recorder Quartet album on Senfo. And they play at the Renaissance pitch of 466. And I don't play at 466. So if I tap on that, you can see I have slowed this down by a semitone minus two cents because that turned out to be uh, the pitch that would match my recorder. And uh, then I can play along with it. But they also play it a lot faster. Now that will play at that pitch at the original speed. But they play a lot faster than I can play. So I might want to slow this down to say 80% or so. And um, then I can play along with it. And then when I get a little better at it, I can speed it up. And uh, so again, it will be um, a semitone minus two cents flatter than they were playing it because it's minus one semitone plus two cents. And it would be at 80% of the speed. I then just tap on, the, on that again. And to, as you're playing it to make this, uh, this 
dialogue go away, you just tap on the center of the screen and it'll, it'll bring you back to full screen and it'll, it'll continue to play the music. So there you go. That's, um, uh, that's a few things you can do with audio files in Fourscore.